Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. This is Big Lotes. I am listening. And we are inside Crossroad Keep. We're about ready to craft those items that I meant to last episode. We have everything. We have all the party members that we need. But we're interrupted by Uncas. Apparently, this caravan master was transporting some contraband to the city. And it was intercepted by Great Cloaks and confiscated. And Axel wants us to get this stuff to Neverwinter. So we're going to say the goods got lost, which gives us three points towards both evil and chaotic. But the goods will reach Neverwinter. And who knows why they're contraband. Maybe they're enchanted weapons that are illegal or something. And the best great cloaks were involved in confiscating. So if we say we don't want this trace back to me at any cost, that shifts us another point towards chaotic. Alright, so you have anything else to say about it, Uncas? No? Alright then. Let's get a great cloak report. Okay, everything is looking fine. Looks like we really can't get any better. So let's look at this ring of positive thinking that I got the last episode. It gives you a penalty of one to wisdom, but gives you one to intelligence, and gives you resist to negative energy 15. And here is Dayward's note. And he discovered that the Guardian was a vegetarian. Which doesn't help us at all. So we're just going to go into the basement and craft these items. So let's get all this stuff that we need first. We're going to need the King's Tear and the Bell Drill. In addition to those Uber Hulk hides. Let's see. That should be about it. Let's go on down to the basement now. And here we are. So let's... I suppose start off with... The Uber Hulk Tower Shield. So let's go over to this blacksmith's workbench. And it'll require three of those Uber Hulk hides in that yes. tower shield mold. Now we'll have Kelgar use this hammer on the workbench. Crafting failed. You do not have enough ranks in craft armor. But I've been maxing it out every level. What are you talking about? Alright, well, I guess we'll just grab this stuff and maybe we'll have someone else make it. Maybe like Grobnar somebody who has been filling up all their ranks. How many ranks does it take? Okay, craft armor, we got 20 ranks in it. Okay. Okay, it says Uber Hulk High it requires plus 17 ranks to whatever it requires to craft something. So, where does it say about the tower shields? Okay, the breastplate provides plus 5 armor bonus AC, so the character must have 5 ranks of craft armor to craft a breastplate. Okay, so a tower shield provides 4. So, that would require 4 ranks. Whoa. So, 4 plus 17. What do you want? will be 21, so maybe next level Kelgar can do it. Or maybe I'll just have someone else craft the armor. Maybe at the beginning What's of the next on? episode I'll find somebody who might have enough ranks for it. Alright, so let's make this belt of cloud giant strength. So we put the one leather hide and we put a king's tier in the magician's workbench. Now I think we're going to need 
a radiant fire essence, but I don't see one, so we're gonna have to make one. So let's get these glowing fire essences, and then we're gonna split two off. We'll put the rest back. And then we'll have to open up the alchemist workbench, put the essences in there, and then use the mortar and pestle on the workbench, get the radiant fire essence, put it back into the magician's workbench. Listening, really. And now we can have Sand cast Bull Strength, which he doesn't have prepared yet, so we're going to have to go to his spell book and select the spell. It's a level 2 spell, so we're going to have to get rid of one of these. Hmm. I guess we could get rid of that iron horn. We'll put in the bull strength. And we do have Eagle Splendor, so that's all that we're going to be crafting for right now. We'll rest up. And now we'll cast the Bull Strength on the Magician's Workbench. Well now, what do you want? Now we have a Belt of Cloud Giant Strength. It gives you plus eight to strength. This load is a bit of a strain. Now the Captain can carry up to 400 pounds. So when we remove the belt, it removes some of its benefits yes. like the plus two to deflection and the ability to cast that magic circle against alignment What's or something like that. So we're gonna have to find someone else who would be willing to wear that. I think they would have to be neutral in alignment on the good I evil axis. I think it is time everyone march behind me, your new glorious leader. So now we are going to cast Eagle Splendor. What's going on? On this, after we put all that those items in there, now we have a Nymph Cloak plus eight, and we're gonna equip that on Quora. Yes. Let's see. Yes. I don't think anybody else really needs this Nymph Cloak Plus 2. I mean, we probably could get it, give it to Grobnar. So, why don't we rest up and watch how the spells increase. Okay, 1 went to 10, and a whole bunch of them went up to 9, so... Quora got one extra spell per day in almost every level. So, very useful to have that type of, of item to be worn. And if your charisma improves one more time, she'll have a charisma so. of 30. It'll be very hard for people to save against her difficulty classes. Are you done yet? No. Do you intend to summon Mephasm again? I do intend. I want to see if Mephasm is ready to offer me that blind bargain, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm going to have to wait a little while. And that's the reason why I'm having the captain carry the Neverwinter ceremonial sword. Because the blind trade that he's going to offer you will require the main weapon your character is wielding. And if your main character enters Crossroad Keep wielding another weapon, that will be considered the weapon that your character wields to trade to Mephasm. So that's why I equipped that weapon, because you can't sell it. Nobody will give you a price above zero gold for it. And I think you have to enter Crossroad Keep between five and... 15 times, I'm guessing. So every time I enter the keep, I'm going to equip that sword from now on. Until I get that option to do a blind trade with him. Now, what you don't want to do is enter crossroad keep with any other important weapons 
especially the Sword of Gith. And if you play this before, you know what I'm talking about. If not, disregard what I just said. Okay, now there's a bug right there that's saying the keep funds remaining is only 11,000. Because when I was in the keep earlier, it said it was above 50. So when it says pay 50,000 gold, notice that it, it said none of it came out of my pocket. So we'll go in here. And... Let's talk to Kana again. Another Grey Cloak report. But that's just like the old report. See, now you can see the income has gone down to 15,000. And the last time I talked to her, it was over 50. So now we spent 50 to repair the church for the tier worshippers. So now let's go to the path outside. And now we're going to make our way to the Iron Fist clan hold. So we don't need sand anymore. Let's pick somebody else. Let's pick Cassevere. Because we really haven't been using him too much. He might be redundant as a fighter because we got Kelgar with us. But he does have some healing abilities. Not as good as Javi. But he can handle himself better in combat than Javi can. And believe me, we are going to do a lot of battle in the future. So we're going to need a good melee fighter. And in this place, the Iron Fist Stronghold, what you say will have a big bearing on the influence that you can gain or lose with Kelgar. So you got to be careful with what you say here. That's if you care about gaining or losing influence with him. I'm sure some people couldn't care less about it. Me, however, I'm going to try to gain as much influence as I can with all my companions. Something you need? Yeah, let's talk about our companions. Huh? Like who? Like Nishka or Eleni. Well, that frail lass is one of the copper elves. Wood elves. They're a stone's throw more tolerable than some of the other kin. But she's still an elf. Their kind stood with the shield dwarves in the north, so I'll stand by her if need be. She needs to comb her hair, though, and put a little meat on that slim belly of hers. You'd think she was trying to be a tavern dancer with a belly like that. Huh, makes my stomach churn. You got a weird taste in women. Anybody ever tell you that? Huh? Not a bad idea. All right, let's go. Alright, so we've got some locked doors here. Let's see if we can unlock them with our rogue abilities. No, we need a specific key in order to open that, so... That means we got to wait for an event to open it. Okay, this guy is Revorax, the weapon and armorsmith. He sells very expensive items. Fortunately... We have a ton of money at this point, so we can buy stuff. Now this thing, the Greater Storm Armor of Earth's Children, it's a full plate mail, but it's a plus 7. And it gives you Follow resistance, me. electrical, and fire 15. One of the best armors in the game, we're going to buy it, it's one of the most expensive. And we're going to equip Kelgar with it. And right away it improves. Proved his armor class by five points. Very good. Now, what are we going to do with the Enkidu's armor? I don't know. Okay, this lesser golem armor is a medium armor. It's plus five, and it gives you plus four to strength, and gives you level and ability drain immunity. Shield of the Void 
gives you immunity to level 2 and lower spells. White Dragon Armor gives you resistance to cold 20 and it's plus 3. This Hammer of the Wisp does fear on a percentage and it's a plus 2. Anything else here? Morton's Withering Blade. What does this do? Oh, it does wounding on a percentage and it's a plus 3. Oh, a regular Rift Hammer, not the lesser variety. It does Sonic 1d8 and it's a plus 6. Very good weapon. I would actually consider getting that if not if we weren't getting a better hammer in the future. Although I think Casavir also wields a war hammer. Although the war hammer that he has right now, the hammer of the lost empire, is a very good weapon by itself. So I don't think we need to waste our money on it. Well now. What do you want? So let's check out this door over here. Let's see. Will we have the ability to unlock it? And... Oh, we do. Oh, I didn't mean to click over there. No, let's open this door. And we got several chests in here, so let's turn on search mode, because if you know anything, a lot of chests means traps. So... Oh, no! Oh! And it killed Quora. But she's back up now. We have another chest that's trapped here. Can we recover it? And the one next to it is trapped. And we took a lot of damage, so let's rest up. Now, can we recover this trap? No, but that one didn't do any damage. And it didn't say the two chests at her sides are trapped. Success not possible. Oh, my open lock skill isn't high enough? Well, guess what? I need another point, huh? Well, then all I need is a Thieves Tools plus one to use. That'll give me enough of a skill boost. Also, you could get a skill boost by casting, like, Cat's Grace or something on yourself. Alright, so we got a plus one arrow and a scroll of stinking cloud. And we got 575 gold from that chest. I guess we'll give that to Quora. Oh, we got some more scrolls and a potion of Cat's Grace. Aura versus alignment. And an ice storm. Well, who can cast that? A cleric? I suppose we should have brought Javi with this. Maybe I should have given ice storm to someone else who can't cast it a whole bunch of times on the natch. Alright. So we got some more stuff. We got some bolts here. We got Doom and the captain can actually cast it. We got Scintillating Sphere. Now we can't cast that, but we could probably give it to Korra. But I'm going to put it away to see if Sand has it or not. I'm not sure. I guess we'll put all this other stuff in there. Yes. Let's see. I think you would actually you benefit yes. quite a bit from wearing that belt. Follow me, Casavir. Yeah, it looks like you got quite a ways to go before you gain the next level. Well, maybe off camera I'll uh step with me. Come on. Check Gromnar's Follow skill. Along. Maybe he can craft it. I think it was giving him skill points into craft armor when you recommend. Follow me. Oh, you can't wear it because you have to be neutral and you're good. Alright, well, maybe so. I'll give it to Javi. Maybe she can use it. Well, do we have any other belts that are similar to that? Or do we sell them? 
No, it looks like we sold them off. Alright. So we got all the treasures that we can. So let's go on deeper into the stronghold. Oh look, we got some dwarves practicing their sword fighting. And if you try to do sleight of hand, it just won't work at this point in the game on most of the characters for some reason. Oh, we're not welcome after we helped you guys out? Well, I guess one out of three ain't bad. You have one dwarf that's friendly. Okay, let's try to unlock this, even though it looks like it leads to the same place as that other locked door. And, once again, you need a specific key to open it. And what about this one? Same thing. We're gonna have to wait for an event before we can open up that door. Oh, looks like none of these doors are friendly, huh? And you can't rob any of them. You must have really pissed them off good, Kelgar. We have a locked door back there, but it's probably not going to be able to be opened. So let's talk to this dwarf here and enable a cutscene. Komar. Any success in opening the lower levels? Kalgar, who let you within our halls? Let me in? <laughs> I'm an Iron Fist. It's my right. An Iron Fist is many things, but he is not a deserter. He does not leave his clan when they need him most to chase after personal glory. You know, you should really watch your mouth. You know, he helped liberate this place. These are my halls, Captain. Yes, word has traveled even here of your actions. I know who you are, and I thank you for your assistance. But this is now an Iron Fist matter. This isn't just an Iron Fist matter! The King of Shadows, he, he threatens us all, and we need to band together if we want to have a chance! Yeah. You know, you guys are threatened by this King of Shadows. Ah, uh, yes. And what are we supposed to do about this threat? A lie with Neverwinter, of course! March with us on the dead streaming out of the mare! A lie with Neverwinter? Neverwinter? Ha! Do you know what we uncovered after you left, Kelgar? We found libraries, chronicles of our past deeds. We, as true Iron Fists, stayed to learn about our past. These halls weren't always decayed and barren. Once, this hold stood proudly under the rule of Torum Iron Fist himself. These halls fell because Neverwinter refused to help us. When we fought the Fire Giants at Mount Galardrum, we were left to fend for ourselves. Oh, really? So you're gonna dwell on old stuff, huh? Let's learn from the past and vow to work together. King Lodrum, my ancestor, led the charge and died gloriously in battle that day. Do not talk to me about allies. The Iron Fists have remained strong by themselves. Well, what can we do to convince you? How can we prove ourselves? Come back with Lord Nasher himself and beg for forgiveness a thousand times. Then we may talk. Keros, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think the clan was at stake. Do not speak as if you're one of us. I value your opinion less than that of the strangers you follow. I am one of you! I am an Iron Fist, and you will hear me, damn you! I am done with you. We won't drag you to the gates, Kelgar, but you know where they are. Yeah, it looks like you pissed them off good, Kelgar. And unfortunately, we went one point towards lawful by our dialogue actions. Don't worry, we'll probably have more opportunities to go more chaotic. And, once again, you can't rob anybody in here. So 
So let's go this way and Colmar, who he was kind of upset with Kelgar previously, but he was grateful that we cleared out the bugbears has an idea. So let's hear him out. How can we gain the clan's support? And I don't mean the Clue Klux variety. See, even Cassavir has stuff to say here. Torum. What are you talking about? The Hammer of Iron Fist. That's the weapon that we need to get for Kelgar. Oh, okay. He was the first and greatest king, Torum. Okay, sure. An interesting story about an ancient hammer relic. Let's hear it. Yeah. I'm sure traveling over land is very dangerous for dwarves, being exposed and all. That's why you all like to live underground. Okay, so apparently he challenged these giants to a contest and the winner would lay claim to the mountain he put the hammer down and said, if you, you guys can lift the hammer, we'll leave. The mountain's yours. But if you can, we can lift the hammer. Then the giants have to leave and the mountain belongs to the dwarves. Well, the giants couldn't lift it up, but then King Torum was able to lift it. And apparently the fire giants weren't too happy about it, so he defeated them in battle. Okay, so if it's true, let's see if this thing actually exists. And by tears right, Bodak, there it is. What's up with these chests on either side of it? Hmm. Okay, so here's the hammer. So, is there more to the story? Okay, so you have to wear the belt of Iron Fist and the gauntlets in order to pick up the hammer. Otherwise, the hammer will stay rooted to the ground. Now, we have the gauntlets. We got it previously. But, unfortunately, the belt of Iron Fist is being held by fire giants on Mount Galadrim. So now we have to go back to Mount Galadrim and fight these fire giants or convince them to give it the belt. That way Kelgar can lift up this hammer and lay claim to King of the Dwarves, which will then allow them to be allied with Neverwinter. Simple, right? Yeah, okay. Actually, this mission coming up with Mount Galadrim, it's one of my favorite missions in the whole game. I remember playing it the first time. I was thinking to myself, this is what D&D is all about. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, so we gained some more influence with Kelgar. And we got a map to Mount Galadrim and a ring. See, nothing in these chests. So what ring did we get? Ring of Major Fire Resistance gives us Fire Resistance 30. Alright. So let's make our way back to the entrance. And maybe off camera I will see about getting that Umber Hulk Tower Shield made by Gromnar. And then we'll go and face the fire giants. But will they have set a trap for us? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. 
see you next time. And Tango and Wendia.